The exciting thing about stem cell research is that it represents the confluence of critical scientific questions that are at the forefront of biomedical research, as well as issues that have the potential to transform the future of medicine. And what those of us who are engaged in medical research every day, what we really go to bed dreaming about is discovering something that saves people's lives. Embryonic stem cells are derived uh, very early in development when the embryo is the size of a pinhead, about four days old. It's just a ball of cells. And they're derived from what's called the inner cell mass. And these are generally embryos that are access to requirement in fertilization clinics, IVF clinics. Uh, the embryos can be isolated, um, the inner cell mass removed, and within that tiny piece of tissue are embryonic stem cells. And it, essentially they're an artifact. Uh, they don't exist in real life. And normally those cells would develop into the different tissues of the body. But once you pull them out and put them in the dish, those cells can be expanded almost indefinitely. These cells are remarkable in that they have the potential to give rise to all different cell types of the body uh, and can be maintained in culture in this very special, what's called pluripotent state. Tissue-specific stem cells exist in many different tissues throughout the adult body as well as during fetal development. So you have stem cells in your bone marrow that make new types of blood cells every day, stem cells in your skin that make new skin cells, stem cells in your brain that make new brain cells. Even though there are many types of adult stem cells, work on embryonic stem cells is still important because embryonic stem cells can do two kinds of things that adult stem cells can't do. Juvenile or type 1 diabetes is a disease that's actually highly amenable to stem cell therapy. And part of the reason of this for this is that uh, diabetes is a disease that's caused by loss of one particular cell type and we know what that cell type is. And we actually know from clinical studies of islet transplantation that if you can replace that cell type you can restore insulin secretion which is what's lacking in diabetics. Embryonic stem cells are capable of making any cell in the body and so if we could coax them to make new beta cells which are the cells that are lacking in type 1 diabetes then we could use those embryonic stem cell generated beta cells as replacement cells. Parkinson's disease involves a loss of a specific type of cell in the brain in, in the early stages called a dopamine neuron. As the disease progresses, as you lose more and more of these dopamine neurons, the symptoms get worse and worse. The only cell type out there that can make a real dopamine neuron that's lost in Parkinson's disease uh, is the embryonic stem cell. And so adult cells, while they're interesting, uh, can do many different things. Making dopamine neurons is probably not one of the, uh, the possibilities that adult stem cells hold uh, for neurological illness. And clearly, you know, all of this knowledge will eventually be put in place uh, to develop technologies. The more we know about the basic biology of stem cells, the better our therapeutic, our, our therapeutic approaches will be. Nearly every family is touched in some way by devastating diseases like juvenile diabetes or Parkinson's or Alzheimer's, cancer or debilitating spinal cord injuries that often result in paralysis. Embryonic stem cell research is giving hope to millions of these families. My family and everyone had been told I would never walk again. That was just a thought that didn't even cross my mind. I started having problems with my kidneys and was in the hospital for a month and then went on dialysis and was on dialysis for almost two years, 20 months. When you're little, you can tell when your blood sugar is low. So I can always tell because I get all crazy and stuff. Uh, degenerative to me means that better enjoy it now because uh, truly when they say use it or lose it, it's very accurate. He thinks clearly. He's but he can't move, he can't speak his thoughts. And he'll start and the sentence goes. The doctor came in the room and we met him and he said, I am sorry to tell you this, but your daughter has glucose in her urine. And I fell apart. A lot of people have a lot of unfortunate things in their families. This is one unfortunate thing in ours. There's a real clock here. And everyone can say, great, it's gonna happen. But every day it doesn't, there's flesh and blood consequences. so easy I could reach out and touch the sun 
Now my back is sore and I can't stand up I'm ready for the cure to come I'm tired of the wait for the waiting Can't shake it out of my mind Waiting for nothing to happen I've been beginning to run out of time Come on, we need to get going There's so much more we can do Life is for the living And my life is worth living too My life is worth living